morning everyone and welcome back to another vloggy vlog vloggy vlog vloggy vlog uh, yeah a long time no see y'all for those of you who are new around here hello my name is Tay welcome to my channel I am a first year medical student at UCLA documenting this journey to the MD hit that like button hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop we are documenting everything on this journey and I am so glad to be back. I know it's been a few weeks since I posted a vlog. <sighs> Things have just been crazy, y'all. So I'm here to take you through a day of a life a medical student at UCLA. Oh, we've got a lot to do today. I get to restart my clinical experience. I haven't been since November. So for those of you who are new around here, as first year medical students at UCLA, we get to start our clinical experiences kind of early. So we get to choose a clinical site that we want to stick with for the whole year and we get to rotate in that clinic site. So mine is palliative care. So dealing with pain management, end of life care, all of that stuff. It is so awesome and I'm so excited to go back. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today, putting on my white coat, making sure I look professional. I just washed my face. So making sure everything's good to go. So it's about 8 a.m., bright and early, and I gotta go to clinic, I gotta be there by nine, so we're gonna get dressed in our business casual attire, pick out what we're gonna wear, hopefully get something to eat, and then we'll be on the road. Just a quick note that this video is sponsored by our friends over at Skillshare. These people are the bomb. I love this company so much. For those of you who don't know, who are new around here, who've never heard me talk about Skillshare before, it is an awesome online learning community where you can just go and learn about anything that you're passionate about. They have classes that can help you refine certain skills, productivity, photography, video editing, literally anything. I am currently taking a class on making good Anki cards and using Anki cards to study, as well as I just finished my productivity masterclass, which was so awesome. I highly recommend it. And they were so kind to give us a link. I will put the link in the description and the first 1000 people to click this link will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Y'all, it is awesome. And if you do want to continue your membership after that, which I'm sure you will because this stuff is the bomb, it is less than $10 a month. It's so awesome. So let me know if you have any questions about it. But they are the sponsor of this video and I love when, I mean it's my first sponsor, but I love when sponsors are all about learning and kind of chasing what you're passionate about because that's what I believe in. So all the info is in the description and let me know if you have any questions. But okay, so now let's get ready to go to clinic. I'm so excited, I haven't been in so long. Let's get this hair in a professional bun and let's try to look somewhat presentable. So let's go team, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so we're looking nice and professional now. Hair is back in a bun, face is washed and now it is time to put on the outfit so the dress for clinic is business casual i've got my go-to top i only have like three business casual outfits if that and my go-to comfy pants these oh no are they both from target the pants are from target the pants are they're a win so we're gonna put this on and then make a quick snack or breakfast just because i'm gonna be on my feet for three hours pack the clinic bag and head out. We can't be late, so let me put this outfit on. I might make a smoothie if I have time. I think that's a good snack, and then we'll get going. I'm excited, okay, I'll see you in a bit, bye. All right, we're dressed and ready to go. H2T, looking nice and profesh. <sighs> There's no time to make a smoothie, so I am just going to bring a protein bar and a banana and eat that in the car on my way over there. It's only like a seven minute drive away, but still can't be late. And let me show you what's in my bag that I'm bringing. It's nothing special, but just so you know, I have my stethoscope, some face masks, a face shield, hand sanitizer. All right, team, back to seeing patients. I haven't seen patients since November, so I'm a little bit nervous. Do I remember how to talk to patients? I don't know. We will see, Ooh, the edges are looking a little, a little wet, but I will see you when I get there, and then when I get back, we'll debrief. All right, let's do this. All right, y'all, so I'm done with palliative care clinic. It was awesome, I I needed this. I actually was nervous about going because it had been so long since I'd been there in that clinic and seeing patients. Um, it's been since November and it's now February. So I was nervous, but it was awesome. I got to see 
four patients today. It was just such an amazing experience getting to hear their stories and listen to them and just reminds you why you're doing all of this. I think I needed this extra boost so close to finals as well. Yeah, it took away from me studying, but it's just that, that reminder of why I am doing all that I am doing. So I'm feeling really good. I got me a little Starbucks, just a small one because I'll need all that sugar. And now I'm gonna head home, but it was awesome and I get to go back next month. It seems that block four, which is our next block, I can't believe I'm, there's only two more blocks after this in the first year of medical school and I'm done. Where did it go? It seems that we'll be able to go back to the EACE. It's called our Early Authentic Clinical Experience. I'll be able to go back in the next block and do even more and I'm so excited so I'll give you a little bit more of a rundown of what I actually did when I was there so I got there at 9 a.m. I actually stayed an extra like 45 minutes it's now 1 p.m. so I was there for a while for about four hours the first hour I did rounds with the team so all of the rounds are virtual right now especially with the team that I'm on because they integrate a bunch of different people so they have a chaplain they have a rabbi they have the actual physician so it's a lot of people coming together to make sure that the patient's needs are being taken care of so we did rounds on 19 patients they said this was a lot of patients so we went through all of the patient information updates on who we needed to go see in the actual hospital so that took about an hour and then we got to actually go to the hospital which is next door to the little clinic that I start in so we went to the hospital and there we got to actually see and talk to patients and consult about how to better manage their pain a lot of these patients in palliative care are cancer patients they're terminal patients so patients that really just need to make sure that their quality of life is good and it was just so nice to be able to see how relieved these patients were when our team came in and and we were able to tell them like we are going to help you with your pain we're going to take care of your pain like you don't realize how great you have it until you're in chronic pain like all the time so it was awesome it was so awesome this is the best part of medical school getting to the patients ah! okay so i'm going to now head home and do the not so fun part of med school which is study our final is in about a week i might also head to anatomy lab later today i'm not sure i've been to anatomy lab every day for about four to six hours for the past three days in a row. So maybe I should take this day off, I don't know. I'm trying to really make sure I'm good to go for our anatomy exam that's a week from today, next Tuesday. <sighs> so yeah, I think I might just focus on making sure I'm good with the lecture material. Let's head home, let's get some food, and let's have a productive day. This was a great way to start the day. Even if I had to get up early, it was worth it. So what is all my... Okay, it's just a shadow. Um, so I'll check in with y'all when I get home. Okay, bye. All right, I'm home. I put back on my pajamas because I don't have to display myself, okay? I've made some lunch and I'm gonna sit and watch a little bit of TV unwind before we get back to work. So you know the deal. I made me a sandwich. Ooh, she cute. Some grapes, some carrots and ranch. Got my friends on the FaceTime. They're working. I need to get to work. So I'm gonna eat this, watch a little TV and uh, we'll be good to go. So I'm feeling very good and I'm excited to work, but I also am so hungry. I haven't eaten since that little half of a protein bar this morning. So let's eat, let's chill, and then let's get back to work, y'all. We got this. Let's go. I am finished eating and now it's time to actually do some work. So, I have nothing else to do today, so I am just going to watch some review videos on all of the endocrine material. So this block has been three different subjects. We had gastrointestinal system in the first chunk. I feel good about that. Oh, then we had like metabolism, diabetes and stuff, but that kind of went with the GI system. And then last we have endocrine and reproduction. So the endocrine system is a lot, but it's only like one week. So I just need to review that and then review reproductive stuff and then we'll be good to go we've got a good amount of time before the exam so i'm gonna go over the thyroid adrenal glands and what calcium That's what i'm gonna go over and i'm gonna use boards and beyond to get me to where i need to be 
And yeah, I'm just gonna take some notes and then I'll put that into Anki to study later. I'm gonna make some tea, eat my cookies with my tea, and get this work in, get this bread. So I'll check in with y'all in a bit. Okay, bye. still going i just finished all of the boards and beyond videos on the thyroid gland so now i am going to watch the lectures on the thyroid gland just to go through them super quick make sure i didn't miss anything probably on like 2.5 three times speed i've switched my study tactics to using boards and beyond and like outside resources as my main source of information because they just explain things better and then I use my lecture materials just to kind of supplement to make sure I'm not missing anything that was said in class. So I'm gonna go through thyroid and uh, yeah, it's getting kind of late. It took me a while, but we're still working. We're still here. We're still grinding. So let's keep going, y'all. Let's keep going. Let's knock it out. I really, I have faith in myself. I can reach this goal. All right, let's do it. still here still working and I'm getting tired it is a little bit past midnight it's actually 12 30. I wish I would have had more done but I'm actually proud of how much I'm understanding what's happening I think going slower can be good sometimes so I am finishing up on the adrenal gland I said I wanted to get through thyroid adrenal and calcium I don't know I don't know I'm fading I'm tired I can do it I can do it. Let me try to get through this adrenal disorders video. It's probably one of the most important ones and it is 30 minutes long. I guess I figured I'm gonna be awake anyway. I've been staying up until 1 or 2 a.m. Even if I stop doing work at like 11, I don't know, my body is just, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. So I figured I might as well do work while I do it. Since I'm gonna be up anyway, if I'm being honest with myself. I feel inspired from clinic this morning. I needed that extra juice and we're gonna keep going. If I can do it, you can do it because I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. Let's go, let's go. Mm, mm, mm. It is like 2.30 in the morning, but we're still up, we're going. I finished my adrenal video, so I didn't get to calcium today, but you know what? I'm still feeling good. So now I'm actually gonna do a little bit of anatomy studying because I wish I could have gone to the anatomy lab today, but you have to make an appointment before you go to make sure that we are sticking to our COVID guidelines. So you only allowed four appointments at any given time, and I've been four days in a row, so took the day off and I will be going back tomorrow for the rest of the four days study for this anatomy exam. But I do have some tools at home to help me study. So I think I'm just gonna go over some of the bones in the oral cavity. So you may have seen this in a previous vlog. I'm gonna bring out my skull that I rented from the anatomy lab for some self-study at home. So. This is not, this is not how it goes. You can tell it's 2 a.m. There we go. So we're not doing the bones of like the top of the skull since we're just focusing on how the skull pertains to the digestive tract. So we're just focusing on the mouth and um, a little bit of the nasal cavity because I guess that's important too. So I just need to ID, I don't know how many bones it is, but I'm gonna go through it on my skull model and also on my computer, I have the complete anatomy app up and that is, 
I love this app. It's the best for studying anatomy. So I think I'm gonna go through maybe even some of the digestive system. I'll show you all the screen in a bit, but that's what we're gonna do before bed and then we will end this day. But let's run through this um, just so it's fresh in the brain and then head to sleep. Let's get it going, let's get it going. Mm, 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 mm. Learning is fun. Okay, let's go through all of this. I'm using my bone pens. Bone pens for studying bones. Um, this whole thing is mandible. This is the body, this is the ankle, this is the ramus, this is the mental. Foramen. These are the mandibular alveolar arches. Then flipping it over, mylohyoid line, sublingual fossa, submandibular fossa, superior mental spines, inferior mental spines. I think that's it for the mandible. Then coming into the skull and the maxilla. This is maxilla. This is the palatine process of the maxilla. This is the palatine, horizontal plate of palatine bone. This is the hamulus of the medial pterygoid plate. This is the scaphoid process. Scaphoid process? Yeah, scaphoid process. Posterior nasal spine, incisive canal, greater palatine foramen, lesser palatine foramina, maxillary alveolar spines, alveolar sockets. to wrap it up we have to know a lot of anatomy for this block so even just looking at this picture we need to know pretty much everything that is on the screen here here's your liver if I hide the liver and I hide all these ligaments you can see there's like all of these blood supplies here your aorta would be back here let me hide this too this is the gallbladder so we have to know each of these branches from the aorta where they go what they do what the purpose is um, we have to be able to distinguish between each of these different branches of the common bile duct, cystic duct, hepatic ducts that are important for digestion. All that good stuff, y'all. Like, even if we hide the intestines, the small intestines, we have to know all of these branches. And not only what they look like, like on this type of model, but we have to be able to identify them in the bodies. So that is why I've been going to anatomy lab so often because seeing it in an actual donor body is so different so this is nice for getting relationships down so that you're looking for these structures in the right places but you gotta go in to the anatomy lab and spend the time which luckily i enjoy so i'll be going back tomorrow but yeah i think i'm gonna call it a night it is 3 a.m on the dot so it's it's time to go to sleep but yeah thank you for joining me for another vlog i will see you in the next vlog which will be the finals week vlog because as of tomorrow the finals will be within a week oh my gosh uh, but i hope that you enjoyed and i hope this gave you some more insight into a day in the life of a medical student hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i hope to see you next time you got this you got this okay bye <laughs>